Hi, I'm Anna, and welcome to episode 4 of my video blog for Rasalka. This episode, I'll be taking you backstage at the Chan to show you what it's like at our final rehearsals. I hope you enjoy! I'm here with Roberta, who is the choreographer for Rasalka. How did you become involved with UBC Opera? Um, well, I met uh, Nancy uh, a few, few months ago. And um, yeah, we were just, uh, you know, starting thinking about uh, collaboration together. And uh, due to, uh, I'm uh, of course a former dancer and choreographer, she would like me to get involved with the with the opera department and so we started this collaboration with, with very few classes, dance classes uh, taken by the students and were really uh, amazing to, to start this experience with them. What was it like choreographing singers who don't normally dance? Was ah. it a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's been a really uh, a pleasure for me. A challenge for both of us, uh, but uh, I think for me it's been really interesting because I can see how they are, um, of course, focused on their singing, but also uh, trying to learn how to move into the space uh, environment of the stage. And so um, I think it's been uh, for them. Uh, a nice experience to learn uh, a different meaning of uh, gestures and uh, you know meanings of uh, uh, movements. Uh, and for me, on the other hand, uh, it's been really hard to uh, give them uh, that kind of sense that a dancer uh, has. Right? Do you have a favorite part of the opera or a favorite section that you choreographed? Uh, well, I choreographed the Polonaise, which is a very short uh, part, and also. A very small uh, choreography for uh, for the uh, sprites, for the water sprites and, uh, and the wood sprites. And I can say that uh, it's been really interesting. Really, it's been for me. It's been a really a pleasure. Thank you so much. So the process for making rocks is you get a big, huge chunk of sand on the and then you, either using a saw, whether that be a motorized saw or a hand saw, you carve out the What do you prefer? Um, obviously I prefer the power saw because, yeah. and obviously, but then the, the key with that is to make your line smooth so yeah. there's not a lot of break on it, mm -hmm. and then after you're done making your basic shape, you sand it down so you, the, the styrofoam is smooth, and then you apply what we, what's called flex glue, which Ooh. is um, this like <laughs> rubbery know. material, but it's white and it like um, dries on or dries clear. Yeah. And then from that, you, you're able to paint your colors on it. And then once you paint your colors on it, you probably want to do a bare thing. And for most rocks, it's a two tone wet blend of two colors. So you have your darker oh. and then your lighter, oh. and then your speckles on top of that. Oh my gosh. Wow. And then you can do different techniques like adding moss or adding like rust to it, yes. depending on your colors. Um, Rocks either come in, it's like lighting, it's warm or cold, but when you want to do it. Are so these, these really? Yeah, these are so cold, these right? These are cold rocks. Ah. Yeah. So that's how you make sage rocks. rocks. How did you learn that? Um, I've taken three props classes. Oh, cool. <laughs> Brian, who's playing the prince, how did you prepare for your role? Well, um, six months ago I started learning the words and how to read, check, and um, you know, and then uh, two or three months later I started looking at the music. Um, you know, I actually want to learn the, the word before, before the music. So, and then after that I started listening to the, some of the recordings. So you want to you wanna start by looking at the music first and then hearing the recording later and then um, yeah and then lots of coaching and lots of practice and then yeah and I finally memorized it so that's good. Do you have a favorite part of the opera? My favorite part of the opera I think is when I when I die you know um, you get to um, you know just lie there and 
you sang everything and you're you're dead, so you don't move, you don't do anything except <laughs> breathing, well, kind of fake breathing. And then um, you listen to all the other people um, sing, and you could enjoy the music while on stage. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Have you ever died before on stage, or is this your first time? Um, I was a ghost before, but it was off stage. Mm, I see. So, I would say this is my first time. Thanks. <laughs> this, is, this is Rebecca. She is uh, just a little stuck in her costume. She's playing Rosalka, as you can see. What's your favorite part of opera? Um, well, I do have two parts, but I think... My most favorite part is when the prince dies. <laughs> it takes him a long time to die, and then he finally does. <laughs> How many times do you have to kiss the prince? Oh, about three. Three times. Do you actually kiss him every time? Yeah, well, like, now that it's a dress rehearsal and then the shows, I will kiss him three times, I promise. For the audience's sake? Yes, for the audience's sake. I will kiss the prince. <laughs> Uh, being the lead of the opera, how much do you have to rehearse? Uh, well, with um, the UBC opera schedule, we rehearse quite a bit. And um, fortunately, actually, in this opera, Rosalka, there's a lot of um, sort of solo work. So there aren't, Rosalka doesn't sing really any duets with anyone. So there's a lot of sort of um, preparation kind of done in my own time with my teacher and, um, and coaches. So. But uh, besides that, I think leading up to the show, every day, every day, every day, we rehearse. Does your voice ever get tired? Yes, Singing it, so much? Yes, yes it does. <laughs> but I have learned to power nap. I'm mm. a uh, firm believer, yes, in power napping, um, as well as power bars, Gatorade, <laughs> <laughs> uh, throat coat tea, mm. ninjom, jom, ninjom. Yep, ninja. It's really good. Chinese herbs, yeah. Um, is there anything you do or do not eat before a show? Well, I am, I'm, I'm lactose intolerant, mm. so obviously dairy is ruled out. <laughs> um, I know Nancy always says like it's just a one banana or two banana opera, so I like to I like to eat a lot of bananas. Um, power bars, I mentioned protein bars. That's, I just had, you made me some tofu. Mm -hmm. I had some tofu. It was lovely. Yeah, it was really good. With asparagus. Mm. Mm, yum. Well, yes. thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Toy, 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 toy for oh. act two. Thank you. One, two, three. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. So, he Diva, polka, rendi, kendu. Sweeba, hostel. Watching. This is probably the last episode, but you never know, there might be another one. I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who has participated. This experience has been so much fun, both being in Rosalka and making the video blogs. Rosalka is running at the Chan Center February 9th to 12th. I hope to see you there, and I hope to see you at the Merry Widow this spring. Bye!